right now, we've got a great interview lined up for you with Big Easy Lofton from the Harlem Globetrotters. We've got Riley out there right now. I'm not sure. I believe they might be at the Moda Center here in Portland. But why don't we go ahead and go to this. Let's broadcast to them, and let's hear what Big Easy Lofton has to say. Thanks, Greg. I'm here at the Moda Center with Big Easy Lofton from the Harlem Globetrotters. We're here. They're going to be playing today, and we're going to ask Big Easy some questions. So, yeah. really, how did you get started with the Harlem Globetrotters? What was your basketball journey from, you know, the beginning to here? Um, well, you know, I've been playing basketball ever since I was young. You know, it was a great outlet growing up in my neighborhood. You know, if you was a basketball player growing up in the projects in New Orleans, you was safe. You know, they, would let, they wouldn't mess with you. They'll let you run around and have a good time. Um, you know, I went to college, and uh, after college, I'm from New Orleans, and uh, they had Hurricane Katrina hit. Uh -huh. Our family lost everything. We evacuated to Houston, Texas. Wow. The Globetrotters was doing a charity event for the um, victims of Hurricane Katrina. Um, I got a workout with the team while they was there, and I've been with them ever since. Um, 14 seasons, 90 countries, um, three-time loser on the major race, <laughs> and I've been voted the best-looking player on the team every year. Is that a self-vote? Nope, nope, I don't have a vote. I'm not allowed to. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been with the team for 14 years. Yes, sir. What's your favorite memory thus far? My favorite memory, there's so many, um, but the one that I always go back to, um, we was in Sacramento my first year, and there was a little kid on the court who was doing like something for the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and um, we were shooting hoops, shooting hoops. Me and him shot hoops the whole time. He really didn't say too much, but we had a good time. And the next day, we was in the airport. I was flying out, and his mother walked up to me, and she started crying. And she said um, her son, ha having, he didn't speak a word for like the past six months. He was going through so much pain with his, with his disease and diagnosis mm -hmm. that um, it was the first time he had talking. It was still Big Easy. And um, it was up, Michael. Um, that's his name, and he's out there. And just about um, last year, she sent me some pictures of him. You know, he built his first computer, oh, and wow. he's doing well. So um, that, that's one of my, my best memories, you know? That's, that's an amazing yeah. story. Yeah. Just yeah. having so much fun with you, he's able to kind of work through the pain. Yeah, well, that's, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah, and he, saw, he, he, was, he, was, he was talking the next day, and, and he was talking about me, and it was cool. You know, this, this basketball, and um, you know this this smile just lit him up and it lit, lit me up and every time I think about it, I get a warm feeling inside. That's amazing. So with the Harlem Globetrotters, you also are the holder of two Guinness World Records, correct? Yes. yes Could I you am. tell our audience a little bit about those? So I have two Guinness World Records. One um, is a half court blindfold hook shot, <laughs> um, and I can't think of the the how far I was, but it's right but right uh, after half court. And I have one from three-quarter court, um, the longest hook, sh hook shot, the farthest hook shot ever. That's insane. So the the half court uh -huh. hook shot was too easy. So blindfold, you did blindfold. well. No, no, I'm saying the, the normal one. The normal one was too easy. Uh -huh. So you decided to do it blindfolded. Yeah, yeah, I did it blindfolded <laughs> just to let everybody know. You know, you know, we're the heart of globe trial. So everything we do, we have to do it at another level. And, you know, just because you can do tricks and everything, the ball still have to go in the hoop. <laughs> so if anybody try to take my record, don't do it. You know, another group of guys, they they broke both of them the next year, and oh, I wow. took I took them right back. <laughs> so you know, if you want to waste your time, go ahead. I, I'm up for it. I have none but time on my hand. <laughs> So you guys just recently launched an app. Yeah. I got to play with it a little bit yesterday. Oh, cool. I will say my favorite things so far, uh -huh. the, the like AR stickers. Oh, yeah. Who, do, who doesn't love putting a selfie? Good filters. You know, yeah. you know, I'm always in filter, look. <laughs> so, you know, I, I get it. I get it. You know, who, who doesn't love a good filter, you know, um, the, with the glasses and you spin the bowling finger, yeah. the headband. My, my three-month-old son, you know, I, um, I was messing with him and taking the pictures. Now, there's a picture of him at three months spinning the ball with a headband on already. So, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Can you tell us a little bit more about that besides just the AR stickers that you guys um, have? We have the AR stickers. We also have we have a real, real cool game that my my, um, my two year old likes to play. The basketball. And we, yeah, the basketball <laughs> is real cool. And anywhere you at, no matter if you at home on an airplane, anywhere around the world at any time, you can play a three point, four point half court context with yourself and try to beat our high score. I think right now the high score is a hundred and fifty one points, if I'm not mistaken. The highest I ever got was one thirty one. Um, but you just you know you you put the with the screen now, it measures the court, yeah. and you start shooting. It's a real fun game. You can go on there. You can go to our website and see when we're coming to your city. Um, you can you can go on um, you can you go to Instagram and find out our profiles. You know, it's a lot of stuff you can do on there that's that's real cool, and I really enjoy it. 
Yeah, and I think it's really cool that with like the virtual basketball court, mm -hmm. you literally can ball anywhere. Like ball anywhere. is ball is life. You, ball, <laughs> ball is definitely life. You could be you could you could actually you know you if you tired or you 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 in line at the DMV or something, you can sit down and you know what I'm gonna work on my game. There you, you go. know, get you some shots up and get your little finger work in, tapping that <laughs> ball and try to beat my high score. It kind of reminds me of the old school paper football game yeah, that you used to play as a kid. You know what? That's, I, was, yeah, I was nice. I was a beast at paper football. I, I'm sorry, I would smash you, but oh. I'm just saying, you know, I'm pretty good at most things, but it's okay. It's neither here nor there. We're going to have to play a game afterwards. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, you guys travel a lot. Yeah. Go to cities all over the world. Yes, sir. When you're traveling, what's your must have gadget? My must-have gadget is actually my cell phone. I have oh. to have my cell phone because, you know, I, I have I have to talk to my family. Yeah. You know, right now with the technology, the FaceTime, Skype, and different things like that, you're able to, you know, before I, when I first got on the team, it was buying phone cards when you were <laughs> overseas and, and, and hoping somebody there to answer the phone. But now with the technology we have with the cell phones, you get on there and I could just talk to my kids face-to-face -face and they can see that. Like, I can help my, my daughters with their homework. Yeah. Or me and my son can watch, you know, um, uh, TV together, you know. Um, also, my fire stick. You know, I can't go anywhere without my fire stick. I, I, I want to be able to watch everything that's on. I got to watch my Saints play every day, and I want to <laughs> keep up with everything. And with having a phone now, having this app, you know, I'm able to, you know, go play the basketball game with my oldest daughter and send her my high score and tell her, hey, try to beat it. Okay. So you got your phone, fire stick. Uh -huh. On your phone, what's your favorite app that you use every day besides the Globetrotter app? Besides of course. the Globetrotter app. Um, my favorite app that's on my phone right now, um, I play this little golf game. I just got into golf okay. about, about two months ago. Uh, um, I'm not quite that good, but I'm not Charles Bulkley either. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Amazon Prime app on there. Um, and I just like listening to music and stuff, you know, just, yeah. just, just, just little, little things like that. And when my teammates come up with something new, I like to try to participate and have some fun with them. For sure, for yeah. sure. So... Obviously, you're an Apple guy, it looks like. Yep, yep. yep How long yep. have you been with Apple? Uh, I've been with Apple, it's been a while, man. Before this, it was a BlackBerry. Oh. So I went from BlackBerry to iPhone. That's, I, a, that's I, a big I, change. I didn't go in, 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 in between. My wife made me, um, well, she was my <laughs> girlfriend at the time, but my wife upgraded the phone and she wanted to, she made me upgrade to, the, she made me upgrade to this, this I think it's an 8 plus. I wanted to keep my 6 plus, you know, but she got a new phone, so I'm on that account, so I had to get a new phone. Yeah, but I'm an Apple guy, but I like Android too. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, I don't have a problem with it. So, desert island scenario. Uh huh. You're only allowed to bring three gadgets. Okay. What are they? I want to have, my cell phone. Okay. I want to have. Um, I need my mama gumbo. <laughs> okay. Because okay. I just can eat all day. Okay. Um, and I want my fire stick. Even though I might not have a TV, I make <laughs> some kind of way. I might hook it to my phone and get it working. You never know. You never know. You never know. <laughs> so now I have a couple brain teasers for okay, you. Okay, go for it. Okay. They're really important questions that, you know, everyone wants to know the answer to. I have my degree. <laughs> All, right. All right. So, is a hot dog a okay. sandwich? Is a hot dog a sandwich? No, and it's not. Why? Because a sandwich, you have lettuce. You oh, got yeah. the option of putting lettuce, tomatoes. You know what I'm saying? Have you ever put lettuce and tomatoes on a hot dog? You can. You can. I've but, never done it. Right, right. And it's, it's called a hot dog. It's not called a hot sandwich. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Okay. You, said, you said, give me a pastrami sandwich. Give me a roast beef sandwich. Yeah. Man, hey, hey, let me get one of them hot dog sandwiches. No, <laughs> it doesn't work like that. It has its own name. You can't give it a, a name. Is this a football? <laughs> no. Exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. And then is, or excuse me, when it comes to pizza, uh -huh. what's more important? Okay. Cheese or sauce? Okay, so I'm from New Orleans. Okay. And you know, we are the king and queens of food. But with pizza recently, I just stopped eating carbs. You know, oh. that's why, I'm, you know, that's why, you know, you need to make sure you got a wide angle of that. <laughs> oh, that's why I look so good today. But I think it's a combination of both. Mm -hmm. Because you can have so much cheese and there's no flavor. Or you can have all the flavor of the sauce, but if you don't have the cheese to complement it, you, just, you know, you just eating bread, bread and salt. You might just, like, yeah. just yeah, just garlic bread with sauce. You know, so you, I think you need them both. You know, I think you need them you need both. both. Uh, honestly, I think you need both. Okay, okay. And I'm to, pretty good at these brand teases. The, I know. I mean, I'm I mean, we gotta ask them some tougher questions. Yeah, yeah, step it up a little bit. <laughs> step it up a little bit.
So before we, we head out, uh, where can people find more about you and the Globetrotters? If you want to find out about more about me and the Globetrotters, go to the app. It, go go to, the to the app. That's one of the easiest things you can do. Go to your Play Store, Google Play, or the App Store. Download the app. You can see my story. We have videos of us doing different things. It links you to all our social media stuff. You can see what city we coming to. You can buy my jersey or any one of my teammates' jersey. You can do so much on the app. You basically just have that to be the only app on your phone. Perfect. Hey, well, thank you so much Man, for joining thank us you. today. Thank you. thank you. Good luck. Have fun. Back to you, Greg. Hi, Greg. Hi. Thanks, Riley. <laughs> Thanks, Big Easy. Uh, live there with uh, Big Easy Lofton from the Harlem Globetrotters.